William Shakespeare's Tragedy of the Sith's Revenge, Star Wars, Part the Third. War is the cry that doth through space resound. The good Republic faces bold attack from Dooku, whose evil doth abound. Yet heroes rise as each side fighteth back. Droid leader General Grievous, he most vile, hath entered a new player on the scene. With movement swift and unexpected guile, he hath made bold to kidnap Palpatine. Will stower the capital and Coruscant. The Separatist droid army tries to flee. Two Jedi are dispatched upon a jaunt to set the hostage Palpatine full free. In time so long ago begins our play, in vengeful galaxy far, far away. Hung be the heavens with black, yield day to night. The dark shall rise and twear a second sun. The course that I pursue doth run direct betwixt these rival factions which make war, upon the intrigues I myself have spread. The game is mine to win when I see fit. The deck is stacked to mine advantage strong, for I have dealt the pack with cunning shrewd. I have, with care, a house of cards set up that may, by merest exhale of my breath, be toppled, each card falling o'er its neighbor. The king, and Yoda, rallies all his troops, whilst Anakin doth make off with the queen. Count Dooku, that black-suited knave, doth serve, yet these most regal cards shall soon collapse upon the very whim of my firm will. Yea, Palpatine still holds the ace, and waits his turn to play the trump and take the trick. Let these poor Jedi come to render aid. They shall within my shuffle soon be swept. A mighty battle over Coruscant, so many ships as though a million here did fight above the planet's atmosphere, beset on every side by combat harsh, tis difficult to tell who wins or loses. Yet how the skirmish ends is no concern of ours, for we a nobler course pursue, the Chancellor to rescue from the grasp of General Grievous, he of fitting name. Good Master Obi-Wan, I see the ship, the vessel wherein Grievous lays his claim. It lies directly forward in our path. Lock on, R2. We shall make our pursuit, yet with some caution we must here proceed, for lo, the ship is rife with vulture droids. Forsooth, it is a simple-minded man who says this mission shall be simple. Fie! We swoop, we fly, our foes shall die. Oddball, dost thou attend? Mark well my spot and form the squad behind whilst I approach. What odd eccentric titles these clones have. I come with all good General Kenobi. The troops and I upon your will do wait. Now lock your S-foils in attack position. The time of mirth and sport begins anon, for I do love a battle fought in space. Pray, let the vulture droids fly in our midst. Guard ye in back, we do attack. In now they work me woe, I prithee get the awful beasties hence away from me. I shall make way to help the trooper. Nay, they do their job, so may we do ours. We shoot our fire, you shall expire. Tis missiles they've launched with purpose rank. Pull up so we the danger may avoid. The fiends have overshot. They do return. They seek the heat that powers our small ships. Our four, take thou evasive action yet. Do not evade thy senses as thou fliest. Be cautious. Make our darting not too rough. Surge thou the power units, R2, then make ready all our thrusters for reverse. This is but child's play. These few missiles are no match for such a pilot as myself. <laughs> The missiles are confounded. See how they whirl and explode upon themselves. Alas, I am beset by foe's pursuit. Tis my belief this flying is for droids, for humans have no wings for taking flight. We board your ship, we'll cut, we'll rip. The beasties are upon me now. I see. The buzz droids have assailed your ship. I come. Take care of for thou hast... Alack, my noble droid, what have they done? The vulture droids rip off our 4 p 17s head, destroying him. They shall shut down all my controls, I fear. Steer starboard, such that I may clearly shoot. I'll give them recompense for dear R4. Nay, focus on the mission. Get to the command ship, there to save the Chancellor. I have but few tricks left unto me here. Make haste, be done, and all is one. Nay, nay, good master, my name is Precise. Anakin shoots, killing some vulture droids, but also hitting Obi-Wan's ship. Oh, in the name of all that's... Cease at once! 
Hold thou thy fire, for thou dost give no help. Agreed, my master. Mine apologies. The hands were quick to act, but not the mind. My flight is blind, my cockpit is a fog, a haze past which I scarce can see mine hand, much less the vessel whereunto I fly. The vulture droids still make their harsh attack. This is, mayhap, the end of Obi-Wan. Move thou still rightward. Patience, Anakin, else thou shalt be the end of us both. Away, go hence, there's nothing thou canst do. I shall not part without you, master, nay. They stay to fight, we'll show our might. A vulture droid moves from Obi-Wan's ship to Anakin's and takes its place in front of R2-D2. Pray finish it, R2, and slay the beast. Be sure, small droid, thou aimest for its eye. The center of its head, its core, its life. R2-D2 shocks the droid in its eye, and it falls. Well done, my noble droid, thou didst succeed. Our thanks, R2. Would that thy counterpart, R4-P-17, had been so bold. Yet now is he another astromech who is a casualty of bitter war. The general's command ship lies ahead. Almost we have attained the place we seek. Dost thou not see the shields are still intact? Beg pardon, I did miss that small detail. I strike upon the generator there. The shield that was their strength is now their loss. The shield dissipates, but a blast door begins to lower, covering the bay. From one snag to another we do fly. I have a feeling bad about this moment. Let us make haste, I'll warrant we shall make it. Obi-Wan, Anakin, and R2-D2 land inside the command ship just as the blast door closes. I hurtle out with Jedi acumen. My ship crash landed, now I fight on foot. Come, lightsaber, into my steady hand and slay the battle droids who gather round. The vessel down, now I shall rise at once. They do appear. Slay them at once, my comrades. Fall useless droids upon my saber's touch. I had almost forgot how weak they are, how simple to destroy by Jedi might. R2, to thy work. Find the Chancellor. R2-D2 plugs into the ship's computer and projects a model of the ship. The signal of the Chancellor doth come from there, nearby the top spire of the ship where on the observation platform rests. I sense Count Dooku. Yea, I sense a trap. How shall we proceed? Our enemies have gone to all the trouble of a trap wherein they do most fondly hope we'll step. It would be impolitic of us to then refuse their invitation. I, I say, will spring their trap and see if it shall hold. I prithee, R2, stay thou here. Take this comlink along with thee, R2. And here await our orders. Enter General Grievous and his captain above, on balcony. What is the situation, Captain, eh? Two Jedi have made landing in the bay, our hangar primary. We track them now. Tis just as wise Count Dooku did declare. His foresight does him credit verily. Enter Droidicas firing on Obi-Wan and Anakin. Look, Master, tis destroyers come for us. Belike our foes do know that we are here. Into the lift and flee these brutal droids. Drop all your weapons on the instant, sirs. Forsooth, forsooth. Obi-Wan and Anakin quickly slay all the battle droids. Tis nearly merriment to ply our skill upon these feeble parts. The lift suddenly stops. Hast thou depressed the button for a stop? Or mayhap thou requested some sharp pause? Nay, sir, not I. And t'was not your design? Not I. We shall another exit take. For every in doth have another out. Anakin begins cutting the ceiling of the lift with his lightsaber. Yet out is not my wish, for I would move. R2, canst thou now activate the lift, which numbered is 31174. Enter R2-D2 above, on balcony, hiding, as two super battle droids enter with him. Those are indeed two Jedi fighter ships. Come in, R2. What is that sound? Canst hear me, R2? Fie! R2-D2 puts the comlink inside himself to muffle the sound. Tis not of interest. Back to thy work. Pray activate 31174. A part of the lift's ceiling falls after being cut by Anakin's lightsaber. He leaps on top of the lift. Thus am I out, and in the shaft may find new possibilities for our escape. The youth is ever on the move, tis true. R2, canst thou hear me? Pray activate. R2-D2 plugs into the ship's computer and Obi-Wan's lift begins to fall. I leap onto a ledge in time, but oh, my master falleth in the metal lift. R2, stop now! I need not down, but up! Oi there, thou tiny droid, what is thou dost? The elevator stops suddenly and changes direction. I'll warrant that my gut's another shift of up and down or down and up again. Shall not endure without some vital cost. In short, I shall be sick if this doth last. Well done, R2, thou hast it turned all right. R2-D2 is seized by Super Battle Droid 2. Thou foolish, naughty, ill-constructed droid. Enter battle droids at the shaft door where Anakin Skywalker hangs. Your eyes aloft be raised, you Jedi Knight. The battle droids realize that the lift is coming toward them. Your timing hits the mark, good Obi-Wan. Our triumph turns to terror, so farewell. As the lift passes by, the battle droids are crushed, and Anakin jumps inside with Obi-Wan. 
Obi-Wan brandishes his lightsaber. What's this, mine enemy? Oh, Anakin, tis well to see thee. Thou art not some foe. I shall put my blue-lighted friend away. Indeed, good master, stow your lightsaber, lest one is injured by his friend of yours. Do not, when you are scared, turn on your friend. No, thou shalt. What hath so unnerved you, sir? R2 hath- thee keep your loose wire japes unto yourself, my master. Spoke I aught? The droid doth verily try best he can. I said naught. Yet thy words are true. The droid is sometimes very trying. On the balcony, R2-D2 sprays oil into Super Battle Droid 1's eyes. Oh, mine eyes, thou wretched impish droid, I'll see thee scrap. Undone by such an astromech, for shame. R2-D2 engages his rockets, burning the oil below him and setting the two Super Battle Droids aflame, destroying them. We have arrived. The upper chamber's here. If Palpatine hath set his signal right, we shall discover him beyond these doors. The players are in place, regard our scene. Here rumor shall begin her trickery. And as the Jedi draw to Palpatine, forsooth they'll meet a well-known enemy. And on Count Dooku comes, with prideful nerve, look on as he doth enter in the fray. Lo, as they fight, the Chancellor observe, behold his true intentions on display, ere posing as a friend to calm in peace, great evil by his cunning doth he plot. Indeed, this Palpatine shall never cease, not till he hath a mighty empire wrought. Now watch as Palpatine, through words, doth lead, and such a one as Anakin toward hate, to satisfy his vile and satiate greed, he knits the threads of Anakin's dark fate. None here. This rescue hath too much of ease. Brave Chancellor, the council hath sent us, say, are you well? Hath some foul injury befallen your esteemed and noble self? I'm well, but low. Count Dooku comes anon. Enter Count Dooku. This time, young Anakin, let us attack as one, and not be led by passion's hot, which did embroil thee last time in their snare. If thou dost need a reason, look no more than to thine hand, which paid the costly price for all thy rage and disposition fierce. Wise master, you've ta'en the words from mine own mouth. Let us coordinate this strike together, that we may Count Dooku thwart. Holy ye for help, you two are not his match. This evil man's a dark lord of the Sith. With due respect, O Chancellor, Sith lords the keenest object of our study are. We two are specialists in their domain, and shall our education put to use as we do vanquish this one by the book. You are no teacher, Obi-Wan, and so a lesson unto you I'll gladly teach. Give me your sabers, else you shall be schooled. We would not have your quick tutorial end in some mess the Chancellor must see. You are outclassed this time, Count Dooku, and shall not escape the instruction we shall give. Then let the seminar begin, and we shall see which pupil stands when all is done. I faith, I have looked forward to this fight. They duel. My powers have grown double since we last did meet upon Geonosian Towers. Tis well impulsive, brash young Anakin, when pride is doubled, twice the fall doth follow. The fools do fight, and both fight for my cause, though none do know the double game I play. Whoever the victory is, tis I who win. They duel again. Count Dooku uses the force to push Obi-Wan aside, and he falls unconscious. Thus falls Kenobi, yet I shall ensure that there upon the floor he will remain. Count Dooku uses the Force to bring down a platform upon Obi-Wan. Anakin and Count Dooku duel. I sense a fear profound in thee, Skywalker. Who have much hate and anger, yet employ them not. Shall they turn thee to coward, boy? Cowards die many times before their deaths. The Jedi never taste of death once. So you shall know the taste of all my wrath, as I do claim the vengeance due my master. Alack! His skill doth press me all too close. Such strength in this one I expected not. They duel. Anakin cuts off Count Dooku's hands. Count Dooku kneels before Anakin. Ha! It is done. The class may be dismissed. Tis well done, young Anakin. Now kill the man. Oh, word most bitter to my frightened ears. My master here doth utter kill the man. He who with me hath planned such base-born deeds as would in time confound the galaxy is kill the man his proclamation soul for he who gave such solid loyalty. Do I espy my poor untimely grave with epitaph that read kill the man? I look unto this boy, this Anakin, nay, not a boy, but truly here a man. Hast thou no mercy left within thine heart? Dost thou not know what is to witness death, to be the very instrument of death? Is there no word of kindness thou canst speak, good Anakin, that is not kill the man? Kill him now. I should not do this deed. I say the word, and thou must do it, lad. Anakin beheads Count Dooku. What have I done? Was this a Jedi's act? Did rage or justice mark my movements here? 
Thou didst aright, courageous Anakin. The man was all too dangerous to live. Forsooth, yet he was also prisoner. Unarmed at that. Unhanded, too, by me. Already I regret I acted so. Tis not the Jedi way, the way I seek. Tis but the call of nature in thine heart. He did unarm thee once. Thou didst demand a valid recompense for what he owed. If reasons such as these give neither bulb nor succor to thy soul, do thou recall. Twas not the first time thou hast sought revenge. Remember what thou didst relate to me about thy visit to the Sand People? How thou didst slay their settlement entire for to avenge thy mother innocent? Now let us hence before more droids arrive. Anakin runs to where Obi-Wan has fallen. I shall assistance give to Obi-Wan, who surely will be killed if we desert him here among these cruel and human foes. There is no time for sentiment as this. If thou wouldst rescue me, he must be left. We two must leave the ship ere tis too late. The spirit's still within him. He shall live. Leave him, else we shall never make escape. His fate and ours shall be entwined as one. Come, master. These two arms shall bear you hence, as you these many years did bear with me. Anakin lifts Obi-Wan onto his back. Tis the Negotiator, verily! And General Kenobi, long have we awaited you. Your rescue hath fallen short, and with him Anakin Skywalker too. Though I assumed your reputation vast belonged to someone older than yourself. Tis twice the Jedi I did hope to snare within my nets today. A double catch! A ghastly giant this one is by Jove. You, General Grievous, are far smaller than I did expect from what few tales I've heard. They did give tell of one most like a titan, yet now I see you are a puny droid. Oh, Jedi filth! I'll hush your insolence! There is a job before us, Anakin. Do thou attempt to not upset the beast. Your lightsabers add two more to my throng, which haply I take from my Jedi dead. It shall not be, you grievous droid, not in this moment. This time you shall not escape. Now, R2, do thy worst and best at once. R2-D2 unleashes all his tools at once, sending shocks and steam around him, creating confusion. Obi-Wan uses the Force to take his lightsaber from General Grievous. Lightsaber, come to me and be mine aid. Crush them, Hannon. Come fate into the list and champion me to the utterance. The Chancellor shall be saved, come what may. Make these two Jedi suffer for their crimes. Their suffering shall be my healing balm. A mighty battle ensues as Obi-Wan and Anakin duel and defeat many droids. These super battle droids with spears of light are more skilled than the common battle droid, yet still no match for one such as I. And now I strike the pate from off his neck. But what is this? It doth maintain attack. This is a thing we humans cannot do. Still, tis a trick too weak for Obi-Wan. I strike and it is down, a rubbish heap. Keep ye the ship in orbit whilst I flee. Obi-Wan and Anakin surround Grievous near a window. It shall not be you, you droid of rage and hate. You are beset on every side and must make you surrender, lest we end you here. You lose, weak General Kenobi. <laughs> For being human is your disadvantage. The breath that gives you life shall be your death. General Grievous shatters the window and is sucked into space. Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Palpatine clutch parts of their ship. The fiend escapes outside the failing ship, and to the hold doth cling before he flees within a pod to make his flight complete. Tis fortunate for us the blast doors hath engaged, for we are safe. Tis safety, though, as ne'er did seem so very dangerous. The ship is bound to crash on Coruscant. All fly and flee and save whate'er you may. Fie! There is nowhere we four may abscond, for every swift escape pod hath been launched. Canst thou, my brave friend, pilot such as this? Your meaning is far different than your words. You do intend to ask if I can land what little doth remain of this poor ship, and canst thou? As the situation lies, the mere ability to pilot such a ship as this is most irrelevant. The question may be better phrased this way. Can I crash this ship with an ounce of grace? I bid you, sirs, be fast secured unto your seats. The ride shall rougher yet be come. Make open all the hatches and extend each flap and drag fin this poor vessel hath. By these we may at least in some small part slow our inevitable sharp decline. Mine every hope and faith is placed with thee. The ship splits in half as it descends. It doth appear we've lost our better half. The helpless ship doth break itself in twain. No worry, for we still fly half a ship. Our speed increaseth as we fall. If we expire not in a fiery blast, the ship reduced to ash by the atmosphere will crash upon the face of Coruscant. Tis eight plus sixty now. Oh, far too fast. 
The atmosphere is upon us. Keep us level. I prithee, sir, maintain the ship's control. The ground approacheth quickly. Steady on. R2, be thou calm, small droid. All shall be well. At the least, tis mine intent. Our progress doth proceed too hastily. We are a fireball plunging to the surface. The ship lands on the strip with a great collision. Another landing happily made. Well done. Thy skill exceeds all measure, Anakin. In time, thou shalt a powerful asset be. Let us away and tell of what we've seen. All reason flies and time doth but confound. The conflict wherein we are full embroiled is seeming simple. Droids and separatists conspire with General Grievous and the late Count Dooku to destroy the brave Republic. The plot is passing plain. Say, wherefore then, doth every moment tell of a deeper vice. My Jedi senses have, of late, been clouded. Some fog of bleakest grey overthrows my mind. Methinks the Jedi Council struggles with a murkiness akin to what I feel. Some evil doth elude us even now. The Sith are rising, so we have been told. Yet how did they arise, and when was it, and who are they, some fiends we Jedi know? By far too many questions were beset, with neither space nor peace to work them out. Had we but galaxy enough and time, all sheltered secrets could uncovered be. Instead, some coming tragedy, I fear. Could I but work it out, all would be clear.